Hey guys, today we are going to show you how to upgrade your MacBook Pro. First of all, thanks to the guys from Kingston HyperX because they gave us nice hardware. We do have a plug and play 8 GB memory and we do have an SSD with 240 GB. And now we are going to show you how to install it. Have fun. First of all, we do have a 8 GB memory from Kingston HyperX, a plug and play memory for our MacBook, and an SSD with 240 GB. Those are both of the items are good choices for your MacBook Pro, so go and get it. You will also need a screwdriver, a small one, if you want to install the memory only, but if you bought the SSD, you, there is one in the package, a screwdriver, so very useful. And you will also need a USB stick to save the old data from your HD. To do this, you have to install the operating system to your USB stick and after the installation of the new SSD you can clone the old one via USB and then run your system normally. Go and flip around your MacBook and grab a screwdriver. You need to have a small cross-headed one or you can take the one from the SSD and plug in the head with the cross then a really easy task, just unscrew all the screws on the back of the MacBook. But attention, there are three long ones and the other ones are all small. So a good tip from my side, just place them in the order you screw them out and place it down on the desk and you can use it later on. Be careful so you not get any scratches on the back of your MacBook. Yeah, this will take some time, just look how I'm doing it. When finished with all the screws, you can easily remove the back of your MacBook Pro by just grabbing it here and there and pull it off. Be careful, beneath this plate is a lot of hardware. Now looking into your MacBook Pro, in the heart of your MacBook Pro, you will see the old memory in the middle. To remove it, just press these two buttons to the side and the memory will flip out. These two buttons to the side and the memory will flip out. Then you can remove it very, very easy. For the second one, you have to push two buttons, the bottom first and then on the top. Again, remove it easily. Now, grab the new one, the plug and play memory from Kingston HyperX and bring it, into, bring it back into the slot. Here you can see both new ones, grab one and do the bottom first. Push it in. Oh, it's a bit difficult here. Push and press down to snap in the memory. Again with the second one. Place it in. Push. Press down. And that's it. Now you've just changed the whole memory for your MacBook. Now let's have a look what's in the box of the SSD. Oh, there's the baby the SSD itself and we also have a installation CD included and, and that's really cool a case for our SSD to use it as an external hard drive or external memory USB cable some screws you will need them for placing the SSD into your computer a data cable also for the computer but we won't need it now these are the screws we will use later, but I will talk in just a second about it. To remove the old SSD, you have to unscrew two screws here. But, be careful, you can't remove them completely, they will just stick out some millimeters. Then the second one.
And now you can remove this piece of plastic. To remove the old HD, just pull here. Wow, super easy. But be careful to remove also the data cable. Place it to the side, and that's it. Now the new SSD. Go and grab it, and grab the fitting screws. Please take the small ones in the left side of your screen. Yeah, we will need two of them, so open the package, remove two of them, and pack the rest to the side. And then take the SSD and check how it will be installed uh, because you need to have the data cable plug on the right side and you have to check for the right holes to fit the screws. We will need those two holes in the direction of the MacBook. Now screw in both screws but not completely. Let them stick out a bit for around about one millimeter or two millimeters. Second screw, again, don't screw it in completely. Then take the SSD, plug in the data cable, and push it into the MacBook. If it doesn't fit in, please unscrew the screws and check how far you need to screw them in. Then take again the piece of plastic, place it down onto the holes and screw both in, both sides. You don't have to use a lot of pressure, do it slowly, take your time and everything will go well. When finished, again, you have to use the back of the MacBook Pro and place it onto it. Please again, be very careful with your hardware. Place it down, press a bit, and then take all the screws and screw them in again. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the guide to how to change the SSD and the memory in the MacBook Pro. I'm going to screw all the screws in right now and then you can use your MacBook again. Thanks for watching guys and have a lot of fun. Bye bye.